Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King Classic and our human mage. Today, I'm taking the mage into Northrend. We're going to do some questing on the mage and see how the class feels. I've been playing a lot on the paladin, as I knew that I would. And I've been making pretty good progress, and I'm kind of at a point where I'm fine trying a couple of different characters. We took the warrior into Northrend see how that felt and today I want to take the mage in and just dip our toes into the water here now we've read all these quests on the on the paladin so if you want a full read through of all the quests check out the paladin playlist uh, for this playthrough we're gonna approach things a little bit more casually and I'll just cover some of the objectives as we move along without really reading every single word verbatim from all the quests like we usually do but yeah, thank you guys for being here. Light bless you. I really do appreciate you clicking on the video and choosing to spend some of your time here with me in Azeroth. Let's come up here and we'll run into the keep. Basically what's going on here is, uh, well, there's a big Nerubian problem going on outside. It's one of the major issues that are happening here. What can I do for you? It's good to have you among us. We've all heard your past deeds. As you know, King Rin is moving great armies into Northrend to meet those of Arthas, but armies are nothing without true heroes to inspire and lead them. I want you to be that hero for my men. Fight alongside them against the scourge that lays siege to our stronghold. Be careful. A little bit of roleplay here. Have not uh, this guy, us. this guy is gonna have a quest for us, but I don't think he, I don't think he has anything for us quite yet. Maybe this other quest is on the outside over here. There is a tailor here. Which is nice. A skinning trainer as well. Need something? On the horde side, for some reason, they don't they don't have a skinning trainer. Like right in their in their main area. It, it's kind of troublesome. Uh, and here we have all the trainers, as it should be. Both the frost weave, frost woven shoulders. Alright. Happy to get into that. He has a quest for us too, cloth scavenging. You will learn in northern cl cloths. Turn that extra cloth you find into something that looks marvelous. Bless you. Northern cloth Things scavenging. Be careful. Hmm. So that's really nice to be able to walk right in and train our professions. Something that definitely didn't happen on the Paladin. What's on your mind? Magni's beard looks like a heavy artillery is arriving. Well, 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 it's good to see Arlos bring out the big guns. That means us. He wants us to kill six crypt crawlers in the sands of Sa Nassim outside of Alien's Keep. Off with you. Meta Cawthorn here wants us to go inside Stormbreaker Hold and retrieve the anti-venom from a crate of first aid supplies. Uh, that's going to be back this way. It's going to involve us going down below decks here. Let's get this done first. Just a call to the damn person over here. I did create a macro that triggers our pet to attack as soon as we cast Frostbolt, so I'm pretty proud of myself for that. It's gonna make life here a lot easier, for sure. Having some buffs up would be- would make life a little easier as well. We could definitely get Arcane Intellect going, get Mage Armor going. Could be good. Let's get the anti-venom and then we'll click on the uh, great looking altar here. This altar bears all the markings of the cult of the dam. It appears fanatics from the mainland have made it into Northrend. Let 
It's not good. We don't want cultists. Mm -mm. My, you're a tall one. We'll let him know that they have uh, enemies. That now the admiral is going to take over. Be careful. We need to go back to the keep and let those guys know that uh, things are not well. We have cultists in our midst. And then eventually we'll get out and actually start pushing some of our buttons. Need help? Or the Alliance? This guy here counts or tell, but he wants us to forget all about the cultist and focus on things that are more important. Of course he does. Harbinger Verne here is not convinced. He wants us to keep investigating the cultist and figure out exactly who's behind this and what's going on. Because he knows that there is something fishy happening around here. Now we can get into some combat here. Let's see how this goes. Instant respawns, instant respawns, fun times. Yeah, I mean, killing stuff is still just an, an ease, a joy. The buttons feel good to press. We don't have to pound too many of them to get good things to happen for us. And yeah, that's six out of six. Uh, we didn't need that guy. But we've got him now. Let's come up here to the north and we'll check out the cultist communic communique even. Oh, we don't have a skinning knife. We're, we're gonna we're gonna fix that. I, I sold like everything before I came to Northrend. I, I I tried to basically completely empty my bags, and then I went back and I bought the reagents that we would need and stuff like that. So yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have to uh, get ourselves a skinning knife, shall we? Let's move all of our consumables up here, like that. And let's come over here to uh, Crafter's Corner, we'll call it. A nice little alleyway. Uh, these have... Okay, trade goods is here. Okay, perfect. Can I help you? Um, tell me you have a skinning knife. You don't have a skinning knife. Hmm. Off and away. Do I need, like, general goods?
Yeah, these are like the only... Very, very weird. Um, where in the hell do I get a skinning knife from? Do I have to go back to, uh, to Orgrimmar to get a skinning knife? Is that, is that gonna be my best option here, for real? So I feel like I should be able to get a skinning knife from, from basically anywhere at this point, right? Yeah, okay, I mean, we can do that. It's not a big deal, it seems kind of stupid, but... Specific? Seems kind of stupid. It might be our best bet. There's probably a general goods vendor around here somewhere. Uh, I don't know where they would be. I don't know why the trade goods vendor would not have things that are like trade skill related, like smithing hammers and skinning knives and all the other shit that uh, a skinner might need. Anybody might need if they're doing professions. You'd think that the trade goods vendor would just have that stuff. But no, apparently, apparently not. Uh, so we need to find somebody here that has it. That, that could be just as difficult. Uh, skinning is going to be over here. So maybe we actually just have to go over this way to see if we can find someone to sell us a skinning knife. Never thought we would have to be doing this, but uh, that's what happens when you sell your skinning knife before you go into new content. Maybe the trade goods vendor here in Stormwind will actually have what we need. Everyday merchandise. Okay, let's take a look. I buy and trade. Yeah, she has no problem stocking skinning knives. Apparently, she, she's completely fine with it, so there we go. Problem solved. Pretty easily. And we're back. Uh, a stamina and agility staff. Okay, I mean, we'll take the great sword to sell it. You're doing a good job of holding the front lines against the bugs. Some of these cheeky fiends, however, can fly. Uh, we can take care of them, too. We can take care of them, too, because A, we're a mage, and B, you gave us a net to shoot them down. But I, I wonder... We probably could just take them out without having to worry about it. I think I just stole somebody's, uh... Somebody's guy. Pretty sure we did. All right, let's let's aim up here, shall we? Well, that was pretty simple. And now we can skin all these guys. Okay, let's head over here, and now we will get the uh, cultist communique. Alright, 
Uh, they're kind of like <laughs> surrounding the area we need to be in. Let's check over here. Nobody here, not a surprise. These are like usually farmed out. Let's come down here. There we go. Well, no cultists communicate yet. We've killed quite a few of them. Can't skin these guys. Can't skin the Rubians. Just their leathery flying spider things. Kind of a weird distinction. Uh, let's head over here. Got a little beat up there. Okay, we need to we need to eat. Yeah, we need to eat. We probably need to keep ice barrier up more often, but they did kind of just blow through ice barrier like it really wasn't a thing. So yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> that was an oversight on this character. And yeah, I'm actually kind of shocked that they still haven't dropped the item for us. So, there's that. There we go. All I have to do is complain about it. And then it'll drop. Let's see, next he wants us to use the incendiary explosives to collapse the Nerubian sinkholes. The Legion's end draws near. Now he wants us to take this communique to Vindicator Yala inside Valiant's Keep. She'll be working with us from here on out on the issue of the cultist. 
I don't really know if this is better than either of these. It's kind of just want spell power, you know? Kind of just want spell power. The Naru have not forgotten us. I've made it my business to learn as much as possible about the vile death cult, including their secret language. Viren was right. The cultists mentioned disguised operatives in, in various locations in Valiant's Keep, the lower docks, the jail inside the inner hold, and the inn's kitchen. Take this oculus. Use it at those three locations. Anyone who has recently used the cult's necromancy will be enshrouded in the dark aura. Ah, uh, this is the one for the named guys. This was uh, interesting to get done on opening night. We'll see if we have better luck here. We, we might need to group up with these people to do this. Uh, grabbing the flight point would be a sound idea. And yeah, I don't know if this is going to track... Um, if this is going to track any of this stuff. Yeah, uh, maybe this is not where it was. I feel like it was like right here. Oh, there he is. Good day to you. Hello. Have a good one. What can I do for you? So yeah, not as much competition here today. Uh, the cook, the kitchens. Yeah, we got to go into the kitchens. It said. Well, you can reveal yourself as a member of a death cult, and then we can kill you. Don't mind us, nothing to see here. Everything's fine here. How are you? And where else? I think in the jail, right? Guard Mitchell's. Greetings. Greetings. I'm a bad guy. Arthas, give me strength. Oh man, you're so misguided. Don't mind us guys, don't help out or anything. The, the other guards, they just stand there. They, they don't know what to do. They don't want to go against their buddy, but they know who we are. So they just kind of, they stand there and they watch things play out.
Well done, however, I can't shake the feeling that this is not the last we've seen of the Death Cultist. Hmm, do you think? Oh, look at that, 76 stamina over 16 stamina. We lose a bunch of intellect, we gain a little bit of spell power. I think we're just going to start equipping this this, uh, this Northrend gear and we're going to go with it. Yeah, it has a lot more stamina and health is something that we're definitely going to need. Alright, time to go plant the charges in the sinkholes. Or bug holes, or whatever you'd like to call them. I guess they're not sinkholes. We are going to run until we leash some of these guys. At least I, I hope we can leash some of them. Maybe we're not going to leash anybody. Eventually, I'll, I'll start using Ice Barrier, I swear. It's just weird to me to have to keep the shield up all the time, but I guess for a mage, it makes sense to have a magical barrier up around- If you can have a magical barrier up around yourself that completely stops you from getting hurt, you would probably maintain that all the time, especially if you live the kind of life where at any moment somebody could try to kill you. So, <laughs> it definitely makes sense to keep it on. At least when when we're expecting combat, when at any moment we could be expecting combat, uh, we need to keep the ice shield on. I kind of wish there was an option to turn the graphic off. I know that sounds bad. <laughs> the graphic is this one-dimensional thing that like is the illusion of two dimension of three dimensions. It's like it's it's this basically. And uh, once you know that, you never stop seeing how flat the graphic is. And I kind of wish we could just turn the graphic off. Alright, that stuff is done. Let's head back to Valiant's Keep and get it turned in. And then we'll see what we're doing next. My lad should be able to take it from here. Valiant's Keep is built to take a beating far worse than this. I worry about our farmlands and mine in Farshire, however. We set the full detachment to protect our mining operations right before the invasion. They should be able to defend the civilians. We're, we're still getting hit by, like, phantom bolts of, of nothing. Like, we're not actually in combat and we're not actually taking damage, but we're, we're still getting hit by the graphic. Uh, the graphic is apparently a little bit buggy, which is weird. Okay, so that is done. It says that there's a quest here, which there is. Hey there. There's a girl at the inn that's asking about you. Her name's Larissa. You now, Larissa wants us to find her brother, Thessarion. Let's go talk to her. This guy has Thank distress you. call. Go to. He has a breadcrumb to the goblin airstrip. Well, then. Definitely be heading there at some point. Uh, Midge here was abducted by mage hunters, and she wants us to go to the Amber Ledge to thank the people that saved her. 
just a breadcrumb over to the amber ledge. Blinking inside the buildings, bad business. Don't do it. You need something? And she wants us to bind the Sarian. And eventually we will. Let's head up on over to Farshire, shall we? I think there's a back way out of this place, isn't there? There is. You're here to help, you're just in time then. There's scourge everywhere, mage. We've organized the farmers and miners into a militia, but this just won't cut it. The one detachment of troops that Valiant's Keep sent is defending the mine. We haven't heard from them in days. If you really wish to help us, why don't you go to the mine and see what's going on? Maybe we can get some of... Get them to send us some more reinforcements. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't count on that, buddy. Let's head over to the mine and uh, we'll find out the bad news. We've got some plagued grain here. Not good. And we've got William Ellerton, who was a friend of Thessarian's. We were trying to track him down, it turns out he's dead. Uh, I believe we got a helmet upgrade. Yeah, I, I'd say that that's better. Yeah, let's go ahead and equip that. It's better than a level 64 green, so... Probably won't be showing too many of the headpieces, but I, I will try to look at them in the dressing room to see what they look like when, when we get a new headpiece. Uh, I don't tend to wear the helmets, like, display them. Now we get to go kill 14 plagued scavengers. Be careful. How are you? And Wendy here wants us to use the torch to burn eight stacks of the infested See grain. You later. Good day to you. Jeremiah here wants us to find a reference material for reprogramming a harvest watcher. See you around. So we have some more things to do here. If we can get the manual first, we can kind of do a couple things at once. Yeah, let's come over here and get the manual. We'll get that turned in. We'll get the follow-up for this one. And then we can kind of tackle everything all together. Now he wants us to reprogram them. So I think that means we're going to have to firstly fight them. Secondly, we'll have to refresh our buffs, which have worn off here.
Well, that was a little bit weird. Not a great time to reload. Uh, yeah, now Questy is completely messed up. Oh, Questy, why do you do this to me? Yeah, it's not letting me control any of the movements of Questy the way I need to be able to. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a huge problem. This is the kind of reason that makes me want to, like, take, not use mods. I know people always want me to use new mods and different mods. Mods are a pain in the ass. You forget to update them one day, and they just completely stop working. I know, check every day, Robert, check every day. I check every day. I open Curse Forge as soon as I turn my computer on. Yeah, I probably should, but I don't. Uh, great, now it's busted here. It was working just fine, now it's busted. Makes total sense. Let's bring it out here so we can actually use it. There we go. What about this one? Did we get this guy? Somebody got him. Same thing here? Really? Oh my gosh. Killing me. Absolutely killing me. I'm kind of hoping we can get one more Harvest Watcher to respawn so we can reprogram our last, uh, our last one. Guess we could just go over here and grab one of these guys. There we go, that one's done. We just need to kill the undead and we need to burn the plagued grain.
Uh, I need a setting to turn on the floating health bars like farther away than we can currently see them. That would be nice. If I could if I could see them from here, that from my max distance, I want I want to be able to see them from however many yards out, from 36 yards, I want to be able to see the the floating health bars and I don't think there's a way inbuilt into the interface that we can actually do that. And I really don't want to use a an add-on for my floating health bars, so Maybe there's not a solution for me. But yeah, I feel like it should be able to show them much further away, at least at our max range. Like a 40 yard range would be perfect on the floating health bars. Good day to you. Uh, what do you have? Crit, haste, and attack. Don't need that. Shoulders with stamina, crit power, and spell power. Eh. I kind of like what I have. See you around. You have some cloth bracers. Those will equip. See you around. How are you? This is not going to be better than what we have, really, except that it has more stamina on it. Have a good one. We might as well start equipping this stuff anyway. It's not going to matter. We'll get we'll get upgrades and stuff as we go. But having the stamina is going to be nice. Uh, we can get the, the... Let's go into the mine. We need to get the cart key and release the cart. I wouldn't mind doing like a, like an Utgard or Nexus run. So these are the queues on Pagel, guys. <laughs> much, 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 much deeper. About six or seven times deeper uh, than the queues on, on Maladeth. So just for frame of reference when we're talking about server populations. Obviously many, many more people at max level on a, a server like Pagle than there would be on Maladev, uh, with it being a fresh start server. We need to wait for Captain Jacobs to respawn now before we can get the key. There we go, there's the cart key. Oh, I was targeting the wrong guy. Perfect. 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 Maybe we should click this, and then maybe we should eat and drink, huh?
help you. He wants us to deliver the crate of Farshire Ore to Hilda in Velian's Keep. And I think with that quest, we're done with these guys here. I don't think anything else really happens with them. We'll see. How are you? Be good. We do have a quest to go back, so maybe something else happens. Let's go talk to, to Larissa, let her know that we found our brother's friend in the army, but he was dead. So not really much of a clue there. Hey there. Safe travels. Good day to you. Safe travels. Now we're trying to track down information on uh, S Company. Oh, we need Kaltiris wine. Which we should be able to buy from, well, from you, I guess. How are you? You don't have it. See you around. Salvage a bottle of Katiris wine from underwater shipwreck. Oh, okay. We can't just buy this. We have to actually swim out into the ocean and get this bottle of wine. It's a very, very important bottle of wine. Uh, we need to loosen somebody's tongue. They're not going to talk unless they, they get this wine, so... Let's get out there, and we'll get this done. I wish we could change this to, to only show skill ups. You know what I mean? Like only show current current stuff we can make. Oh, we went way past. Robert's looking at his crafting. We went way past. Yeah, I feel like I feel like making this stuff would be worth it for some of the bonuses. Um so we might be looking at doing that as soon as we start getting some significant amounts of frostweed cloth. We could do that. Uh, looking down here, we do have a crate of Kaltiris wine. We have a shark. We have sharks. We are just going to leave that shark alone, and we are going to get ourselves back to land, where sharks cannot follow. It's probably, though, going to be impossible for us to get a group as DPS, just because there are so many DPS in the queue. You know what I mean? It's probably going to be impossible for us to passively get a group. Need something? Have a good one. All right. Tracking down more information about Unit S. We need to visit the jail, and there's going to be somebody there that might be able to shed some more light on things. What 
what can I do for you? No offense, but the operation they put Thessarion in charge of was pure suicide. A handful of our men were to launch an attack on the biggest Scourge presence in the area. Call me crazy, but storming a Scourge ziggurat outside of a plagued Nerubian city with a dozen men ain't my idea of fun. See you later. It doesn't sound like fun. Yeah, that's true. So it does sound like a suicide mission, but he, Thessarion's a death knight, so... We don't really know what he's capable of. Probably quite a bit. I keep hitting F6 because F6 used to be my mount. Now shift F6 is my mount. And I keep forgetting. Go to the town hall building in Farshire and ring the bell. So we have weapons to resupply them. We're going to ring the bell in the town hall to let them all know to come get their weapons. Got our harvest golems doing work for us. And we are going to get a new neck piece out of this. Be careful. Okay, where do we want to go next? Let's head south. And uh, I think we're going to meet some of the Tuscar next.
there something you desire? All right, well, let's get this turned in, and uh, pretty soon we're probably going to be expecting a summon. Or, depending, I mean, we, we could head over. We, we might be the closest people. Um, we just don't have the, the flight point over there yet. Uh, we will take... We'll take the staff, right? Spell power by 168. Yeah, we need that before we do the dungeon, yep. Let's equip that right away. All right, so the the quest we found the guy that he was worth a little bit of experience. It didn't chain into anything else, I don't think. Um, do we have anybody heading over here? That's the real question. 
That's the real question. Let's head out here. We have to fight a... Gvaldir in a cave. Assuming that he's alive. Uh, which he is. Let's leash these guys. That should do it. Yep, everything's normal now. Everything's back to normal. Hmm. Maybe we take this over the spirit. Oh, that's a... Delicious look for us. Some kind of weird face mask. This takes us out to the island to talk to the Naga lady. She's going to give us a quest to swim all over the place. And I'm thinking that maybe we don't want to swim all over the place right now. But then again, we don't really have a lot else that we need to be doing. It looks like summons are going to be covered by, the, by those guys. Um... So yeah, we, we might as well go do this. Keep our progress going forward here. I'd like to leash the guys behind me before I get into any more trouble. Let's just stay here for a minute and make sure that happens. Uh, they're not, they're not leashing. They're not leashing at all. What in the actual hell? This is bad. All right, now we're clear. Yeah, I think at this point we, we don't do anything else. We're, we're going to get a summon here any second, so let's just uh, hang tight, shall we? Let's just hang tight. Um, what do we need? I have a, uh, I have ritual refreshment, so we can make a table now. That's pretty awesome. I feel like we're useful to groups just for the ability to make a table, so uh, we will remember to put that down. Uh, we'll get a summon eventually. We'll probably be like the last person to summon. We're just a mage. We're not. We're not very important. So, I think I'm gonna do crit strike for the dungeon. We do have mana emeralds as well if we if we happen to get low on mana, which we might. Let's see how this goes.
I don't really expect us to do super well in the numbers just because, uh, well, because we just got into, into North Run, so. Yeah, like AoE, we're not going to deal any damage at all. It doesn't seem like we're going to do any good AoE damage. Oh, this is going to be a big pull. Yeah, this ought to be fun. We're silenced. Yeah, we can't we can't do a damn thing when we're silenced, it turns out.
You know what they say about curiosity. Now to finish the job. Very, very rude. Damn the lot. And stamina intellect bracers that I don't think we ever saw on the paladin. <laughs> On the Paladin, the only thing that drops is Cloth, so of course on the Mage, the only thing that'll drop will be Intellect Plate. Because that is just how it is.
so weird that we can skin the humanoids. It's so weird. Uh, why are we jumping down here? Oh wait, we have to jump. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> I know where I'm going. It's all fine. Uh, held an offhand item. Stamina, int, spirit, and spell power. I feel like I'm gonna take this in case we get a one-hander. I feel like I'm gonna take it. In case we get a one-hander. Which might not be super hard to come by. I'd love to have like a one-handed spell power sword. I think that'd be really cool.
Well, this is really bad. This is, uh, this is extremely bad, actually. Extremely, extremely bad. I don't even know how to begin to deal with this. Let's just start getting some damage out. And we will hope for the best. We're oom, but that's okay. We can pop a potion here. <laughs> Somebody ask him, first time tanking? What every tank wants to hear. Yep. We are, we are, oom, um, we are completely, completely out of mana. We really can't, we can evocate. That's what we can do, we can evocate. Hey, we didn't wipe, so I feel like we handled it all right. Even if it is somebody's first time tanking, it's okay. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. I have to remember that if I start casting Frostbolt at something, even if I stop casting Frostbolt because of my macro, my pet has been told to attack. <laughs> Which is probably not the best way to handle that. Maybe there's a better macro I could do, but... Yeah. And a fist weapon. Perfect. I'm actually really worried about my- oh, my water elemental despawned. That's probably the best thing he could have done.
preserve? Why? There's no truth in it! No, no, no. <laughs> Only in the taking. I see that now. Stay. Enjoy your final moments. Stay. Enjoy your final moments. Finish it. Finish it. Kill me or I swear by the Dragon Queen you'll never see daylight again! Now we've come to the truth! Stay. Enjoy your final moment. Dragon Queen. Life Binder. Preserve me. All right, so pretty good run, pretty successful overall. Even though it had its rough moments, it was still pretty fun. Had a lot of fun DPSing on the mage. I can definitely see like the single target potential. Obviously, frost spec is not like the main way to DPS in group content, but it was really enjoyable. I really liked it. Got a couple of good pieces that we can't equip till 71, including an offhand weapon. We'll have to work on finding a main hand spell power weapon that we can use, maybe a dagger or a sword. I don't even think we can we can use daggers. I don't think I've... I need the train weapon skills, so I'll have to run the tour of uh, different, different cities and make sure that I can actually equip all my weapon skills. I will work on that on my own. Thank you guys. Oh, I didn't... I missed the port! I always miss the port. I'm a bad mage. If I don't call myself out, someone will call me out in the comments. I'm a bad mage, guys. You could have bugged me for a port if I read group chat. Unfortunately, I get self-absorbed in what I'm doing, so. Anyway, guys, thank you for being here. Hope you enjoyed the mage. I definitely had a good time on it. Let me know what you think. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you again here really soon. Bye for now.